voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they tell Hi guys, it's me again. Today I'm going to be talking about a topic that is often misunderstood. Where have I heard this before? Hmm, a topic that we just don't understand. Oh yeah, like every fucking feminist video that I've ever- And I would say it's becoming more and more present in the media. You have probably guessed from just looking at the title, but in case it hasn't clicked, today I'm going to be talking to you about feminism. And I'll also be bringing like just inequality in general, so racism, homophobia, and other things. First of all, since this is such a misunderstood topic, I'm going to read you guys out the definition from the dictionary. And we all know the drill: feminism is equality. Blah 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 blah. blah. What's, what's next? Now, first, I want to highlight the words equality of the sexes. It's pretty clear what this means. Basically, everyone, no matter what their gender, should have equal rights. So, for example, it means a woman should be able to have the same pay as a man who's got the same job and is in the same workplace as her. But, of course, that has been debunked, you know, many times. The wage gap argument Completely debunked. But you know what? Chances are you still believe that women are being paid less because what's between- People tend to get a little bit confused around this part because they sort of think that feminists want more rights than men. And they do! It's just never enough! Feminism is basically some- fat obese kid that just wants to eat ice cream and if he doesn't get his ice cream he'll bitch and moan and cry until he gets that ice cream that's basically feminism in a nutshell when truly they just want equality it's just really misunderstood you see you, you don't really understand why you oppose feminism okay you, you just don't so allow us to explain to you why you shouldn't oppose feminism uh, you, you still oppose feminism well you're, you're still confused, okay? So let me re-explain to you what feminism is. What? You, you still oppose it? Then you must be against equality. You sexist bigot! I heard the other day a man said, I'm no feminist. Which is like, why? Why are you not a feminist? I, I know feminist because feminist is not equal. And this is the typical reactions of feminists, you know? Oh my god, this man is not a feminist, this, this is terrible! This is fucking terrible! How come more people are not feminists? How come people are leaving away from feminism? Feminism is such a wonderful idea! I mean, like, are you saying you're sexist? Like, what, why are you not a feminist? Everyone should be a feminist. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! You have to be like a man or a woman to be a feminist. To be honest, the man probably does want gender equality, but like a lot of people on social media and just in general don't realize what feminism really means. So even if all those people who oppose feminism has done every ounce of research against feminism, they just don't understand it. Like. This is basically your fucking argument! They just don't understand why they oppose feminism. You just don't understand. You don't understand. You just don't understand. Don't you get it? You just don't understand! I'm building a bridge made out of penises. But you oppose me because you just don't understand me. And really, really misunderstand it. There are so many feminists out there that are men. So, Benedict Cumberbatch, um... Harry Styles, uh, Douglas Booth, Simon Pegg, and Russell Crowe, I think is one. So what if there are women who support Gamergate or in all against feminism? Gamergate is literally being accused of consisting of nothing more than sock puppets when it comes to women and minorities within the Gamergate community. They act like they do not exist. In the past, there are women who are against women's right to vote. 
There are women who are against abortion. There are a number of women who support groups such as the Islamic State who enslaves women. And just like the feminist community, there are actually a few feminists that actually do care about men's rights. So I should become a feminist, right? Right, 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 right. Women supporting Gimmigay and all against feminism means Jack said. So what I'm getting at is that you're literally saying that it doesn't matter on how many women are in support of Gamergay because it still is sexist because social justice warriors said so. Yet, if I turn this around against the feminists like yourself, you're going to say, no, 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 Feminism means equality. We just love to be cool and hip and stuff, you know? That clip was from, what's it call it? Oh, yeah. Elmer Fudd does not understand Gamergate, where he basically stated out that, so what if there are women in support of Gamergate? Because there are women who are in support of ISIS. There are, um... Uh, blacks who are opposed to equal rights. In other words, who the fuck cares if men are in support of feminism? But those are just examples, like there are so many more. If you're a man and you're watching this now, or a woman in fact, you should not be ashamed to be a feminist. But I don't want to be a feminist! I love my gender! Because it's not a bad thing. Unless, of course, you want gender inequality, then do not say you're a feminist. But I do want gender equality. And don't say that I'm a feminist because I'm a, that I want gender equality because guess what? Feminism doesn't own the concept of equality, nor it should. You're probably wondering why I've brought up this topic now. Um, I know back in September um, 2014, back in the day, Emma Watson made a speech at the UN. On how she should be put on the pedestal and men should carry her on her back like some sort of horse. About feminism. Um, so in regards to that, it's a little late, but what really provoked me and triggered me to make this video was a video that um, was put up on YouTube itself, the great almighty YouTube. Um, I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, I don't want to put it into my video because I don't have permission from a person to put it in. But um, go click the link, um, you can pause this video, go open a new tab or new window, whatever, and um, watch that video and then maybe come back to this video or just carry on watching because I do make points. It's not, you don't have to watch the video to watch this video. <laughs> Uh... From watching this video, I completely understood that this is a joke. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you and say that I make sexist jokes with my friends. Against myself, yes. Against myself. Um, I don't know, I just... I guess we all do. We all gonna make it just as a joke, as a joke. But... We do not put them on the internet in a video for everyone to see. Great! Tell that to Rebecca Watson! Oh wait, she did that already. Because I make sex jokes around my friends who I know will not be offended by it. Yet they are showing it to the whole world and so many people are going to be offended by that. So many people. From once a wise man told me, being offended doesn't make- You're probably thinking, Liana, Yo is overreacting, ain't nobody have time for this. But I heard outraged comments about this. Um, went talking to my friends, seeing in the comments on Facebook, not on YouTube, someone linked it onto Facebook. It started a big debate in the comments. Um, so, I'm telling you, it isn't just me. If it was just me, I probably wouldn't put this up because I probably would think, yo, Leona, you're overreacting, calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. I think that everyone who got annoyed on Facebook and on YouTube, but I think they were all arguing that if you put a video on the internet and were making a racist joke, you were saying, I don't know, like the N word, I'm not gonna say it, um, and you put that on the internet, it's not gonna go down very well. But if you put a sexist joke on the internet, yo, it's cool. Don't worry. It's fine. It's just a joke, yo. It's 
just a joke. Girls that were in that video said that it was simply them using the rights and freedom of speech that many feminists in the past, and continue to do so, have fought for them to have. And they use them, and the, the, the feminists would be okay with it, they use these rights that the feminists have fought for to mock, and don't say, oh, they're, they're not mocking them, they, they didn't say that, okay? One of them told me that it was just mocking them. J just, just mocking them. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. The makers of the video are completely entitled to their own opinion on the issue. Okay, listen. I don't know how many racist jokes there are. I, I never even heard of a racist joke. But, um, you, you know what? I say it's a joke, okay? We, we can all agree that it's a fucking joke, okay? If men are not allowed to be offended by a joke made by Rebecca Watson, then these feminists should not be offended when we make a dongle joke. And yet, it, it happens. You know, Andrea Richards, you know, managed to get a guy fired just for making a dongle joke. Oh, but to quote from Hobbes Justice, freedom of speech has consequences. But I personally think that they should at least apologize for offending so many people. Not, not apologize for what they believe, but for offending so many people. Because, for example, Nash Greer did it, Robin Thicke, I think, may not have, I think Robin Thicke did apologize? Please correct me if I'm wrong. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and hopefully you agree with me, but if you do not, um, then I'd love to hear your response to this in the comments, like... <laughs> a feminist responding to criticism. That's cute. No rude, no, no rude, vulgar language, just a structured argument. Because I do want to see the other's perspective of it, and maybe you can convince me to see the other side of this video. But I'd like to see... I'd like to have a little debate, because... I'm on YouTube, there's about 245 of you now that I can just express feminism to and A feminist is willing to have a discussion that is willing to debate That's new! This, this, this is a female feminist by the way A female feminist Okay I'll take your word and expect a video response. You're gonna be on the other side, agreeing or disagreeing with me. And I think that's great that so many people can con connect and debate about such a sensitive issue. I I I'm sorry, but this is, this is just hard to believe. This is such a rarity. You know, a female feminist that is willing to have a discussion, a debate, or whatever. You know, this is the first. You know, it's just ridiculous but maybe maybe you're different i am really fucking hoping that you are different from every other third wave feminist that i've encountered it's really good. so thank you all for watching um yeah and see you next time bye look you need to look at some of the um, miss misanthropes videos um, Teal Deer's videos, you know, I'm just gonna make a few in the description. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.